YouTubers, welcome to channel 48 once again, second video for today. Uh, I'm now here with the Samsung Galaxy S2, the i9100, and we're gonna install Android 10 to it. Second build by Renando, and Renando as well surprised us in the previous video with Android 10 development, you know, ROM. Well, in fact, the ROM is not really done yet. It's a nice music player. But at least, uh, yeah, the development started. And, you know, soon we're going to get some good build. I thought I already copied the file to the phone, but I did not. So, we're transferring the files to the phone. And um, yeah, if you still have the official, uh, the official firmware, if you're still running the official firmware, uh, then you must uh, first learn <laughs> how to you know repartition the internal of this of this of this machine this little phone here uh, before you can do this okay so this will be only for people that already that already had lineage os 14 and up installed okay because the way this phone effect comes uh, you will only be able to go up to android 601 and i have a complete tutorial how to do it i think including the prop files but you can as well look on the site the xda website and there you're gonna find out what to do and you will find the proper prop file and yeah including the help of my video you will at a certain moment as well install android 10 on your samsung galaxy s2 the file is uh, from let me see where it is i don't even see it select storage oh internal storage of course there it is. It's from uh, the 11th of this month. Okay, I'm a little little late with showing it. But I had all these other phones that as well needed to be updated. And there we go, we're installing Android 10 to the Samsung Galaxy i9100, the GTI9100 and this room is with thanks and with credits to Renando as well the man, the man that brought Android 10 to the Samsung Galaxy S3 unbelievable very nice Even though it's not done yet, it's great to know that the development started. And knowing Renando, yeah, he's gonna just get it right, you know. It will take some time. And uh, he did exactly what I wanted. You know, he created a ROM that is not fully functional yet but that you can already install it's already created it's already there it's already running and up you can install it without any error to the gti 9100 a phone from 2011 this was a flagship not just a flagship but a very special flagship this thing had an 8 megapixel camera, 
Many phones didn't have things like that at that time. Nice phone, lovely phone. Not so thin and in a nice flip case like this. It even gives the feeling of a, yeah, an updated Nokia N95. Although those were a little bit thicker. But still, okay, we installed it. Uh, let's just reboot the system. We don't need to install the twerp. Do not install. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're gonna boot up. We're gonna boot up the Samsung Galaxy S2. So I must be careful with this because the other day I put my, my thingy here and then I moved it and then in some way all my files on my desktop were selected and then when I moved it to the right it deleted them all and everything was not deleted to the trash can it was completely deleted oh my goodness go away man I don't want to talk now um, I want to lock this machine okay because that was kind of crazy. And then I looked at my desktop. I was like, hey, where are all my files? But this is my work machine, you know. So yeah, all the things that I lost. <sighs> these were not so important things. These were just tools and files, APKs. But I can get them all again. Look at that, how fast this thing booted. That is, hey, Rinando, you're not joking. You're not kidding, my friend. Eh, eh. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Lovely. So let's see. We have a browser, calculator, camera. I know that the camera worked the previous time. Stay awake, no man. Deny. Camera works 100%. You see that? Video works as well. video come back turn the cam hello hello testing one two three four five rewind to come again Nice man. We're gonna switch from camera to to an uh, to video. Yes, yes, yes. What a guan! Look at this thing could even zoom. At that time, you could not zoom with 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 2011. Most phones could not zoom. Zoom with 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 2011. Most okay, it recorded everything. Amazing. So is the phone working? Oh yeah, I remember that I made the VoIP phone uh, of this thing. Probably the reel is, is still not uh, not working. I should have a SIM card in this thing. Let me see. Here, where do we open this thing again? Oh yeah. I have a SIM card and it's from Leica Mobile. So the SIM card should work. 
So probably the reel is not fixed yet. That is a pity. But it's uh, usable as a VoIP phone. Eh? And Wi-Fi as well works. I can remember. Wi-Fi should work. And let's connect to the network. Okay, we're connecting to the network. And as you can see, this part is fixed. Uh, the previous uh, uh, ROM, if you would connect to the network, then it would not connect. And you should then turn off the Wi-Fi and turn it on again. And that would do the trick. I showed that in the previous video. Um, so that is, is fixed. That part is fixed. Let's Let's take a look at the mobile data. What's up with that? network okay there's no mobile network yet you see that no mobile network so effect uh, you cannot use this with the sim card yet all right but you can still show your friends say hey, i have android 10 you know look android 10 on my samsung s2 and you are still on Android 8 with your Samsung, I don't know what. Or maybe even 7 or 6 or 1. You see that? Android 10, mi hermanos. Hmm? Muchas buenas, no? So, um... Yeah, camera works, sound works. Sound should work. More. So you can use this thing to make videos. Uh, those that have a VoIP account can put in the VoIP account. I, I, I showed it in the previous video. It works. I'm going to put mine uh, in again. So these phones that in fact don't have no cellular uh, network uh, available because the reel is not working. Uh, I can still, you know, use this thing as a VoIP phone. And then I use this part of the phone, the real phone. I, I put in an account, you know, here in calls. I can at a calling account and then I can even receive calls from PTSN and from mobile phones and even SIP uh, phones and up here I can put in my SIP account I can add an account you know and put in my credentials and then the thing will log on and then you know I just have a phone including an inbound number you see that uh, so that is what I'm going to do later. I demonstrated it in the previous video that it worked fine. Uh, I think that uh, probably to um, to lower down the, the battery drain, I'm not even sure how much it's using at this point. Uh, a good idea is to set the display, uh, set it to dark mode. And let me see if the dark theme works. Yes, it works. Oops, turn it on. So that will as well help you to save your battery um, from draining. Okay, and I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to check out how the battery usage is. And then according to these results, I will tweak the processors. This thing is a dual core, I think. And then, you know, I will uh, tune them a little bit down so it stays up longer. Just like the battery from the S7. I drained it yesterday all the way to zero. And now, in fact, the battery is fixed. It's at 69%. It's, uh, yeah, holding uh, about, you yeah. know, how long is it up since full charge? Let me see. 69%. Uh, five hours. So it drained a bit in five hours. This is what it's draining in five hours. And then, you know, it goes back to all the way to zero. This thing was turning off at 80%. 
So I recalibrated the battery and uh, yeah, now it's I can use it again. You see? So these things you must as well know from these devices. Yeah, some of these new devices with these unchangeable batteries. Yeah, they can get a wrong profile by a wrong update from Samsung. And then suddenly the battery thinks that it's empty at 80%. And then it turns the phone off. And then suddenly it's at 0% crazy. And then you think the battery is broken. It's not working anymore. And then by recalibrating it, uh, it's fixed again. At least it won't turn off anymore at 80%. And it will go all the way to zero before it turns off. Because it's crazy if a phone turns off at 20% or at 25%. Suddenly it goes off. That's crazy. You know, then you suspect it's the battery. But most of the times it's just a recalibration of the battery that you will have to do. So it understands, you know, the cycling of, of, of the charging. And you have apps and tools that will help you to do so. So, yeah, this is uh, the story about the S2, my friends. I cannot make even more from it. Yeah, you can use it as a video camera. Uh, you can listen to music. There's no radio built in. Maybe Spirit uh, FM could work. I'm not sure. You can try it out. But then you will have to root this device. To root this device, you will need Magis. Magis 20 will root this ROM, I think. I'm kind of certain. So, yeah, that is it uh, about it, you know. For the Galaxy S2, I'm very happy to see this development uh, still continuing. And I see that certain little things are fixed. Such as the Wi-Fi, it's connecting way better now. And, uh, yeah, for the rest, we will have to wait before we can use this as a real phone, pop in a SIM card, and, you know. But for now, you can already use it as a perfect pocket PC. This is a perfect pocket PC. Well, we covered the S3 and the S2, both by the same developer, and both ROMs, in fact, are not really yeah finished yet you can still you can play with them one you can use as a music player and the other you can yeah use as a VoIP phone so if you have a VoIP account you can put it into the phone and then you can use it actually use it as a as a real phone uh, you will be able to receive phone calls if you as well have an inbound number just like me um, the thing can be uh, a perfect pocket PC, it's very light and it will give you uh, yeah, the chance to uh, see the crazy looks on your friends' faces when you show them that your Samsung Galaxy S2 is running the very latest Android 10. I want to thank you for watching. If you think this video was cool, leave it a thumbs up as well for the project, for Renando. And then uh, I want to invite you to uh, to check in to my next video. We have all these videos about ROMs, ROMs, ROMs. And my channel is a kind of various channel. People are now waiting for some Linux distro to appear or some something else that has to do maybe with Windows or with, with, with Mac, you know. So, yeah, I will try to make the best of it. And uh, if you have some ideas, uh, about uh, the videos that you would love to see as well here on my channel and, uh, let me know in the comment section uh, yeah what videos you would like to see more okay and if i as well agree with that then probably it might as well happen so see you in the next video until then stay well